this is Chris. I'm in Los Angeles making a record, so I'll have to call you back another time. feels a lot airier and you know I think you know riding it on the road maybe or and then heading out west you know to, to make it in Southern California in the winter you know, it's almost the opposite of birds you know we're hanging out and it's in the 70s and I don't know it's just, there was just this there was love in the air and there was this vibe and it was it was sort of made like an old record great working with Jim. Uh, we made the record out in LA um, at his studio. It's actually in Valencia and uh, it's really incredible. He's transformed this uh, warehouse space into this like warm bohemian like awesome incredible vibe with you know there's drum kits up on shelves with light fixtures inside the drum kits and rugs everywhere and every kind of uh, keyboard, synthesizers, you know, yeah, all kinds of funky instruments lying around and everything is plugged in and ready to go so you can pick up anything and just start um, recording. this really incredible way of um, just delivering the, you know, what he wanted to hear. I just am listening for stuff that I don't want to hear. And you're and not hearing it? I'm not hearing Great. what I don't want to hear. I'm hearing stuff that I do want to hear. And if he didn't hear it, he didn't mince words, and he would let you know. But it was never, it was always in, in just a really direct way. How's that feel? Anybody got any insecurities? He couldn't get offended, it was just, you know, he wanted to hear the big note. He wanted to hear what was supposed to be there, and if he wasn't hearing it, he would let you know. So the players on this record are uh, Mark Stepro on drums. Yeah, Mark came in and, uh, you know, he did a bang-up job, no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, George Reef played bass. Uh, George also played bass um, on our first record and many other records that we've made with him. And he's just a world-class uh, musician and one of my favorite bass players in the world. And then uh, we had uh, John Ginty on the keys on piano and organ. And, uh, he just, you know, really played exactly what you'd want to hear. It was really, really fun working with him and getting to meet him. So we did all the basic tracks for the record in like three and a half, four days, you know. Yeah. We really plowed through. I mean, it was a great band. It, it, it's, it's certainly easy to work when the, everyone's that good. might be the fine of the century You could be my good luck charm I didn't know that I was searching for you all along Now I believe We 
self-produced our first record. Um, kind of with everybody in the band, we, we, we all took producer credit. So like on this record, I, I'd never been produced like that. So I, I decided early on I was just going to give myself to that. And I found you. Record one, you'd have a Chris song or an Eleanor song, and then the occasional song where we both sing, but that's a result of writing those songs separately for the most part. This record was written almost entirely together. And you found angel wings, but spoke to me in earthly tones. Gonna <laughs> 